take that off. After you take the polish off, you would want to go ahead and put soap or cuticle softener on. And then you go ahead and you soak it for a little bit. Then you take that foot back out. And then you kind of scrape and push it back with a cuticle pusher. And then I always like to use the pointy side and dig any excess skin out. And also underneath here, if you've got dirt or crud, same thing over here. And then I use a cuticle clipper to cut any excess dead skin. You always want to hold it like this. It makes it much easier. A lot of people go like this and cut it, but it really slows you down. Another thing that I find very helpful with the cuticles is have your finger up against it and then it's laying where you're just only using the tip here to cut it. just have it I think in the summer it should be a little longer so I'm just gonna file the toes you can also file if there's any polish left on the toenails you can file it Then I usually buffer it. That way it's soft and there's no ridges. So when the polish comes on, it's much more smooth and professional looking. Then you can go ahead and soak for a couple minutes. And then once that couple minutes come up, you want to take it back up. I love to use this tool. You can buy it pretty much anywhere. A, a nail file is the same exact thing. I can either use this or this, and it works just the same. What this does, it gets all that dead skin off. 
Um, it, when you're taking it off, it does reek a little bit. It smells like feet. As you can see, there's like white crust starting to come and form on the thing. And this is safe to go on the skin, on the whole entire foot. So you don't have to be really careful with it. And I like it to be wet at first and then dry because then you get all this debris on the foot. And I will show you what I'm talking about. It's not that my model is a dirty person. Everybody has this. As you can see, it's coming up. And what it is, it's dead skin that built up. And it actually makes your foot stink. Can you see it? No. Right here, it's coming. Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. And this is, your gloves have to be a little dry, your hand has to be a little dry, but you have to kind of soak enough to get this layer off. It's just dead skin. It's like almost exfoliating it. And it's on every single part of the foot. So I guarantee no matter how clean you are, you're gonna have this. After this, I'm gonna use a pumice. It's more coarse and some callus eliminator. You can use soap if you don't have it at home. It just helps it glide a little bit more, but if you have callus eliminator, it actually eliminates callus at the same time. But what you don't want to do is cause the friction so it is really hot on your foot. You want it to glide easily. My heels are bad. Huh? My heels are bad. No, your heels are not bad. And if your heels are bad, this is great because it's coarse. So am I a boring instructor or a tutorial person like that cook lady? <laughs> Informational. Informational. If and that's a word. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the soft one. Informative. Informative. That's what I mean. And I'm going to spread a little bit more on and then I'm going to scrub scrub my butt off. This one, you can go a little harder and you can go up here because it doesn't hurt. Now with this one, if you go up here, it's going to be painful. So you don't want to do that. And usually callus areas are I'll show you usually right here and right here. Especially us females, we wear high heels. It's always here and here. So right here's the ticklish part. If you want your client to be done, I usually go like this. They pull their feet and guess what? They don't want it anymore. Okay, then I kind of rinse off. 
And then I use soap to wash their feet. And then I massage and that is...